The next question is, a lot of people have this question sometimes, Team Ned or Team Frank? I know there's a lot of opinion. I'm Team Ned till the day I die. I love Ned and Nancy together. I always have and I probably always will. I used to be Team Ned and then after a while, I liked the idea of Nancy and Frank. I just thought that was so cute. But now I love Ned as a boyfriend. He's so cool. Also just knowing and interacting with Scott Cardi, our wonderful longtime voice of Ned. You can't and help but love Ned. You can't help but love Ned. And Ned's not boring. You may have a different impression of all of Nancy's friends, Ned, Frank, Joe, Deirdre, Best George, if you read the books or watched the show. And yeah, like whoever you like. Now me personally, Indy is a big old Frank girl. If I'm talking about the TV show right now, Nancy and Ace are endgame, but they can't kiss or they'll die. But if I don't see them kiss by the end of the show, I will die. And I mean that <laughs> literally. Nancy and Frank get together at one point in the books, right? There's a book where you can vote. One number if you wanted Nancy to stay with Ned, one if you wanted her to break up, and people voted for them to break up. Ned is a lot more active in some of the books, and then other books he's just like not present or talked about at all, which I kind of love. Since since we're remote, which yes, we are remote, have we gotten to play any of the games together? Every now and then we are able to get together and play test Mystery of the Seven Keys. Mm -hmm. And it has been a very cool experience because we get to like take turns seeing who will play next. We definitely do get together every now and then for a little bit of, oh, I don't know, happy hour amongst ourselves where we like to come on and just like talk about our days. One of the first times we play tested, one day randomly I just got a call that was like, can you hop on a Zoom call and you have like an hour or two for free? And it's the two of you and some other people and basically they have me test out one of the first puzzles of the game but I get like no warning as to what it's actually going to be and honestly it was so embarrassing because I wasn't getting it. It took us all a while to play that puzzle. We have talked a lot about doing streaming again so maybe someday we'll get back to streaming like they used to do. We had so many people ask what are our favorite games? I find Secret of the Old Clock just so charming. I feel like I could play that game blindfolded. It also was kind of the first Nancy Drew game that I played that made sense to me. I really didn't have to go on the message boards for many hints. I know this is a very hot take, but I love a good chore-based game. And I know a lot of people hate the chore-based games, but I really like them. My favorite game as a kid used to be Treasure in the Royal Tower. I can quote that game backwards and forwards. And then when Alibi and Ashes came out, I don't know. I just loved Alibi and Ashes so much. Just something about it. Being in Nancy's hometown with Nancy's best friend. Nancy's in jail. But now Alibi and Ashes is my favorite game. One of my favorite games is The Deadly Device, if you can tell. <laughs> and one of the older games that I absolutely adore is Last Train of Blue Moon Canyon. Like Brigella had said about Treasure in the Royal Tower, like I know that game all the way through. Even same with Deadly Device, I love the puzzles, I love the characters and the storyline, and those are probably my top two favorite games. As I've grown up, I will say now, I really like Curse of Blackmore Manor. I think in real life, I'm in my dark academia phase. So I think that's why that game is speaking to me as of late. It's such a classic. I, I absolutely know, love guys. that game. I, I replayed it recently and it is so hard. I will say it's very interesting to replay these as an adult. There's things I picked up on now that I never picked up on as a kid. I took the philosophy of if I have to read something to beat the game, Nancy will just instinctually write down on the important parts in the notebooks. So I never read much. I also didn't really read like anything that was really long and I didn't realize how much plot I would miss sometimes. Yeah, a lot of the games have that like historical background character mm -hmm. and I won't say that this game doesn't have that. I will say this game might rival all other games for having the most content that you can just read and learn about history. And I highly suggest that everyone does it because there it's was- so good. Yeah. <laughs>